Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today we are going to be unboxing a much needed machine for my business. All right y'all, so today we are going to be unboxing and testing out and really I'm not really trying to test it out. I want to just jump right in and use it. So hopefully this test is going to go as expected or as, it, as I hope. So we are going to be unboxing this Polono label printer. It is a thermal label printer and it doesn't require any ink, any toner, any ribbon. It just requires thermal print paper. And so we are going to be unboxing this, testing this out because I can use this for my Etsy shop when I am shipping out packages and I cannot wait to try this out. I do want to thank Polono for sending me this machine and also sponsoring this video so that I can let you all know exactly what I think of this machine and if it's going to be useful for my Etsy shop. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get to opening our new label printer. And I'm really excited because you can use this label printer with so many different platforms, with FedEx, USPS, DHL, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and Shopify. So I am excited about that. And of course, the first thing in the box is the user guide. And here is our label printer. It's very small and Honestly, y'all, it's super lightweight, so I'm excited about that because I can use this in any area inside of my craft room and move it around as I need. Also, here is the cords that come with it. You have the USB cord and the power cord that comes with it. So this particular label printer is not wireless, and you will need that USB cord. And so that's where the USB cord, the AC adapter, and the on and off switch. And the back of the label printer is where you will load your paper. We will get into that and here are just some quick tips to using this machine. You want to make sure you read the instructions. Also, there is the AC adapter and a flash drive and they also include some sample labels to get you started. So today we are going to be testing out these labels and I am going to ship an item with these labels to see how that works. Also, we have these circular stickers, and these circle stickers come in different colors. You can use these labels with other label printers, but I'm excited about using these. I can put my branding on these and place those on my packaging. I can also take these labels inside of my classroom and make use of them there. Now it's time for us to plug it up. And... Together. And so this is going to go here. I'll plug it in and the USB cord will go here. They provided an adapter, and this is where we will get the files to install the printer to the machine. So now it's time for us to install the software and I'm just going to plug this in here over on the side and we are going to browse. Now that I have the files uploaded into the computer we need to search for where we will need to install and so we are going to be installing this onto my MacBook and so I need to select this file for the MacBook. All right, we're going to allow and then we're going to click continue. Continue. And now it's time for us to install. All right, that was pretty quick. <laughs> I did not speed the video up. So let's get ready to access our our new printer, our new thermal label printer.
Now that we're all set up on the computer, let's get ready to load our labels. And as you see, you just press the button and those labels will come out. But that's just to remove the packaging or the label that came with the machine. So we are going to turn the label printer around and place these in. Now you need to place it in correctly and that's just that that side needs to be down so that you know exactly how to feed the labels into the printer. To open up your printer you're just going to click on the two tabs on the side and push them in and that will lift up the top of your your printer. And as you see you can adjust the sizing so that it fits the labels that you have, right? So we are just going to flip this around and we are going to feed this into the machine and this label printer has an automatic feed so it grabs the labels and pulls it through and adjusts it accordingly. So we are inside of Etsy and I need to change the way I print my labels. So typically I have two labels per page and we're printing on an eight and a half by 11 but now i'm going to select label printers and now that adjusted it to a four inch by six inch label or sheet and so i am going to now just select print shipping labels so here we have the label that we'll be printing and i am just going to select file and print Okay, so everything is looking pretty good so far, but of course this is still on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So I just need to go over here. Well, the printer is already selected, Polono PL60. I just need to adjust the paper size, and we will be printing these on a 4 by 6 label. And so the closest thing to the 4 by 6 is going to be the 100 millimeter by 150 millimeter, and we will select that and that adjusted our, our page. So next, we're just gonna select print and see what happens. Y'all, that was so quick and easy. So quick and easy. So that was way too easy. Now we are going to get ready and print some stickers for our packaging. And now I'm just removing the shipping labels that are in there. And as you all see, it's super easy to access the inside of the machine and remove the shipping labels and replace them. So we are going to go through the same steps of just feeding that label through or the roll through and the machine will catch it. Just so you know, this thermal label or all the thermal labels are waterproof and oilproof so you don't have to worry about any smearing. So now we're in Adobe Illustrator and I just designed a quick sticker so that we can place it onto our packaging. You can use this opportunity to put your logo or your handles for how they can reach you on social media and place that onto your packaging as well. So we are just going to go ahead and go up to print and the stickers that we're using, they are two by twos. And so that's what I designed this as. And so we have the Polono selected. Let's go to page setup. And you want to make sure that you create the right size that you need. I had to create a custom size. So this is a custom size sticker and it's a two by two. Okay, and it looks like everything is as we need because it only prints in black, which is fine. And we are going to select print. All right, so that one printed out. So let's print out a few more. Let's see how that will work if we print out a couple. We're gonna go with 20 for now and we're gonna select print.
So we're ready to apply our packaging and we are just going to close this up. Next, we're gonna put our label on. Go right here. And then we are going to apply sticker. This sticker can go right here if you choose. All right, y'all. So we are all done with unboxing the Polono PL60 thermal label printer and I absolutely love it. Why didn't any one of you tell me that I needed this printer for my small business? This printer works with so many different platforms in addition to Etsy, Shopify, FedEx, UPS, USPS. You can use this in so many different ways. In addition, as y'all saw, I can print directly from Adobe Illustrator to this printer. I love that I can make quick and easy stickers that's perfect for packaging with this thermal laser printer and not waste any expensive ink. That alone makes me love this machine. If you're interested in this thermal label printer, which if you have a small business, it's really a no brainer. If you are shipping out several packages, then I would definitely recommend it. A link will be listed below in the description so that you can check this printer out and see if it is a good fit for your small business. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button. In addition, head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and join Craftable Things there as well. But that's going to be it for today, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.